Longevity and success. <laughs> That's about the rarest combination on Wall Street. Uh, the longevity of the bull market continues with the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq at record highs again in this final hour, followed by the Dow Jones Industrials. Famed Wall Street soothsayer Byron Wien, known for both his longevity and success in market predictions, is now saying the Fed will hike rates not three, but four times this year, the 10-year Treasury yield will rise to between 3 and 4 percent. It's already at a multi-year high of about 2.6 percent right now. And he says a 4 percent, uh, as I said, okay, they're 3 to 4 percent, and a first half stock correction. So a few more months left, and we will see a stock correction, says Byron Wien, the vice chair of Blackstone, which is the leading private equity and real estate investor, $387 billion to play with here in a Fox Business exclusive. Um, okay, so you put a fine point on that, but let me just hit the news first about sure. what's happening in Washington, D.C. What do you think is going to happen here? We have the final vote, which the Senate says it will then pass, and then it goes to the House and then to President Trump's desk. Mm -hmm. Prediction. It'll be signed. Why? It'll be signed because both sides had decided they were being hurt politically by the shutdown, and they didn't want that to be reminded of that in the November election. That's exactly so, what Representative Lewis, uh, the Republican from um, Minnesota, just told us. Uh, okay, so get us a sense right now of why the market didn't really react and what will get it to do what you expect, and that is a pretty significant correction in the next couple of months. Well, the market didn't react because it knew, the, the market is smarter than all of us, Liz, and the market knew that these guys would come together because they would realize that nobody had anything to gain by the shutdown. What do you think a fourth rate hike, which is not in the collective market sensibility right now or the Fed's, yet it's in yours, what would a fourth rate hike do? I don't think it would do anything because the only reason that I think they can do it is because the economy can handle it. The economy is growing at 3 percent. Obama would have killed for 3 percent growth. The economy has plenty of strength. and. Interest rates are way below their normal rate. So Powell is desirous of normalizing the Fed funds rate. Yeah, you're talking about Jerome Powell, who is now the uh, head of the Federal Reserve. Give me a sense of why or what might trigger a correction. What would trigger it is what you cited before. You've had, in the last 60 days, you've had a sharp move up in the 10-year Treasury yield. Mm -hmm. Yields going above 3 percent, as I suggest they will. And we're at 2.66 percent right now, 2.66. Right. And the euphoria. People have a feeling of impunity about buying equities. They think they can't get hurt. If they buy something today, a week from today, it'll be worth more. Okay. You're at a cocktail party, and somebody's grandmother comes up and says, my savings that I have left in cash, should I put it to work right now in the stock market? I say no. Really? Mm -hmm. I say we're in a very frothy period. Weren't we a year ago? I heard this from people sitting in that very seat. Yeah, but I didn't believe it a year ago. A year ago, I said the market would go above 2,500, and it did. It went over 2,600. And right now, I think the market is getting dangerous. What do you see that tells you that? I see investor sentiment at an all-time high. I see interest rates rising. I see more inflation on the horizon. I see uh, a plethora of good news, but I see people discounting it. Now we've gotten to the point where valuations are extreme. Don't get me wrong. I think the year is going to end up up for the, you know, we're going to have a positive year in 2018. So you're but I saying, think right now we're vulnerable. You're saying stay correction. out. Is there anything that you would say get into right now? Well, the open-ended earnings companies have always appealed to me, Liz, and I've talked okay, about Okay, define them. that, please. Okay. Technology, biotechnology. You saw a couple of big biotech acquisitions. Today. This morning. Right. Just this morning. So those are situations where a good company with good products, there's no telling what it can earn. So that, those are the two areas. Energy. I think the price of oil is going up. And I think energy stocks are undervalued. You say 80 bucks, right, by the end of the year? Sometime during the year. So you're hanging in there, Byron. You've got Boone Pickens leaving. He's, he's cashing out. You're still in it to win it. 
What, is, what surprises you about this year and what we've seen with these multiple, multiple record closes since Election Day? Because the economy, we're in the eighth year of the expansion, and the economy is accelerating. Usually the economy is running out of gas at this point, but this time it's picking up steam. And yet he says, tell Grandma, don't put that cash into stocks right well, now. Well, I'm not saying she should, you know, store it in Montana. I'm saying she <laughs> should keep it handy. But the, now is now now is a dangerous time. See, it used to be under the mattress. Now it's in the mountains in Montana. Good to see you, Byron. Thank you Always so much. Always good to be here. Known as uh, the most widely followed researcher on Wall Street. It's great to have you. You're always welcome. Thanks so much. Thank you. Byron Wiener, Blackstone.